Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome back uh, to our online lessons. This is Teacher V of New Vision International School. How are you today, grade one? I hope you're, you, you're doing great. All right, are you ready to our next session? Okay, so today is grammar lesson. Please re prepare the following materials needed. Of course, your readers and writers booklet, your pencil and eraser, and your English copy book. So before we proceed to our lesson, let's just have a short recap or review of our previous lesson. And can you still remember our lesson last week? Good job. And that is an interrogative sentence. And what is an interrogative sentence? Can you tell me? Can you still remember the meaning of this? Excellent. And an interrogative sentence asks a question. It ends with a question mark. So here is an, an example. Who is your teacher? Again, who is your teacher? Okay, so this sentence asks, who is your teacher? Okay, and of course, it begins with a WH question, who? And as you can see, it ends with a question mark. All right, I hope that you can still remember this lesson. All right, so you have to remember that an interrogative sentence asks the question, what, where, why, who, and how. And remember that you that an interrogative sentence ends with a great job and a question mark. Now, so examples of an interrogative sentence. Where do you live? What is your favorite fruit? Is that your mom? Do you have a pencil? As you can see, all of them ends with a question mark. And, of course, it asks a direct question. And it ends with a punctuation mark. Okay. So, let's begin our lesson for today. And that is an exclamatory sentence. If interrogative sentence asks a question and ends with a question mark, exclamatory sentence ends with like Olaf, an exclamation point. So what is our lesson objective for today? At the end of this lesson, students should be able to A, define exclamatory sentence, B, identify exclaiming sentences, and letter C, give examples of exclaiming sentences. Now let's talk about exclamatory sentence. An exclamatory Tory sentence expresses a strong feeling. It ends with exclamation point. This is an example. You are amazing. So, not is how it ends with an exclamation point. Remember, so since this is also a sentence, remember to start your sentence with a capital letter and it ends with a punctuation mark. So, if it's an exclamatory sentence, your sentence should end with an exclamation point. Great. Okay, so now let's talk about an exclamatory sentence. An exclamatory sentence expresses a strong feeling. It ends with an exclamation point. Here is an example. You are amazing. So this sentence ends with an exclamation point. So these, uh, since that this is also a sentence, remember that a sentence starts or begins with a capital letter and ends with a punctuation mark. So, um, here are some examples of phases using an exclamatory period. Okay, so how do you feel today? Ooh, 
Are you great? Are you um, very happy or amazed? Oh, are you sad? Are you angry? Are you cool or do you feel cool today? Or um, excited? So these are some examples of um, phases or um, emojis wherein you can apply the uh, exclamatory period or exclamation point. So examples of exclamatory sentences. You look great. Again, you look great. Now what are you going to do is to choose Later on, you're going to choose a faces um, suited for each sentence. Number two example is, this is yummy. The house is on fire. Please help me now. I can't wait to see him perform. As you notice, all of them starts or begins with a capital letter and ends with a punctuation mark which is an exclamation point good now choose the best emoticon first is mom i am hungry what is the best face if or whenever you see you say this word to your mom are you happy are you angry when you are hungry you tell it to your mama and your face is you are hungry or angry or you look so sad. So which one? Happy, angry or sad? It's your choice. You can choose one. Next. Yes, we won the game. Again, yes, we won the game. Are you cool or you feel cool? Or you are so happy and excited? Or you are really, really, really sad or angry? Choose one. Next. This robot is so cool. This robot is so cool. So what is the best emoticon for this? The first picture which is cool this one the next picture which is excited or happy or this one the third picture which is very angry what about this sentence boo you lose the game for example you are mm, playing football okay you will say this to you're going to say this to your uh, to the other team. Boo, you lose the game. What is the best emoticon for this? Surprised? Good? Or bad? It's your choice. How about this? That's an amazing performance. That's an amazing performance. What is the best emoticon for this? Surprised? Good? or amazed good it's your choice now let's identify the exclaiming sentences so what are you going to do um you're just going to say yes or to say no first sentence you did a great job is this an exclaiming sentence yes or no good it's yes why? Because it ends with an exclamatory period. Next. Next example. That is a huge whale. Again, that is a huge whale. Is this an exclaiming sentence? Yes. Next. Are you mad? Are you mad? Is this an exclaiming sentence? No. Why? Because this is an interrogative sentence or a sentence that asks a question. Next, we won the game. 
We won the game. Is this an exclaiming sentence? Yes. Next. Is the cat is fat? Is this an exclaiming sentence? Yes or no? No. Why? Because this is a declarative sentence. It ends with a period. Excellent. And then the last one is stand in line. Is this an exclaiming sentence? Oh, it's a no. Because this is a declarative sentence. Very good. Now, you have to use the exclamation point properly according to your feelings. Okay? Good job. Now, bring out your readers and writers booklet along with your pencil and eraser. Kindly open your booklet on page 200 and 207. So, in page 200, find the question. Mark the question. So, you are going to put a check in the circle. Okay, number one. For example, find the interrogative sentence. Remember the interrogative sentence? It ends with a question mark. It begins with a capital letter or an asking question and ends with a question mark. So if you are done, proceed to the next page, which is in page 207. An exclamatory sentence. Remember, an exclamatory sentence ends with a, an exclamation point. Good job. Now, underline each sentence that is an exclamation. So, find the exclamation and underline the sentence. You got it? Okay. So, please um, answer properly and ask help to your mom if needed. So, thank you for listening and make sure that uh, you answer the questions properly or the activities properly and later on i'm gonna t i'm gonna check your work if you got the correct answer okay so have a nice day see you in in the next video bye bye